we all know that an important part of being a Muslim is to have knowledge and to increase our knowledge. And I'm sure there's part of you that wants to increase your knowledge even further than where it is already. But due to being busy, having responsibilities, maybe not having enough money, you might feel overwhelmed to the point where you just kind of put it in the back of your mind, put it on the back burner and forget about it. This is where the International Open University has a very interesting solution. They offer undergraduate and graduate degrees in things such as Islamic studies, education, psychology, IT, economics, Arabic language, and business administration. Founded by Dr. Bilal Phillips, who I personally am a big fan of, International Open University allows you to study a wide variety of different subjects, including things like Akira, Sharia, and Fiqh. And it's all extremely affordable. It's extremely flexible. And you can study anywhere, anytime, all from expert educators. If you're even a little bit interested, I highly recommend at least go check out their website. It's super easy to enroll. It's super affordable. It's super flexible. And if you enroll now for the 2024 spring semester, you'll receive a 10% off early bird discount. Like I said already, I know there's part of you that wants to increase your knowledge, but you have these excuses and that are probably valid about not having time, maybe not having money. This is the solution. So really think about it, really consider it, and may Allah guide you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What is going on, brothers and sisters? It is Daniel here. We're back here again today. Alhamdulillah. We got dad joining us for the long awaited dad reacting to the Muslim lantern. I know most of you want him to uh, probably talk to uh, the Muslim lantern, Muhammad Ali, about hadith. Uh, today, I'm just going to introduce Dad to Muslim Lantern through one of his like dawah videos where he goes out on the street. And um, yeah, I think Dad, I think you'll like him. He's he's very quick witted. He really knows his stuff, and um, he's he's impressive. He looks familiar. Maybe I saw him debate another guy a few years back on the street. I'm not sure. He looks a little familiar. Anyway, so this is um, you'll see this young man here is is in the process of becoming a Catholic priest. The, the guy in the blue? Yeah. Wow. And he's going to try and like come school this. Oh. Come school Muhammad Ali. And, well, good luck. Yeah, let's see how it goes. <clears throat> okay, now obviously, as much as, as much proof that I have, okay. I'm never going to be able to get you to believe that Jesus is God, right? If, no, I would believe if there is evidence that he was. Okay, so in the Bible, right? But before you say in the Bible, I just want to know, just a bit in, introduction. What's your name? Oh, my name's Gerard. 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 I'm Muhammad, yeah? So okay. So world, so right? it's it's very unique that you find someone as young as yourself interested in this type of discussion, right? <laughs> well, it's okay. You can have this discussion. Are you interested in religion too? No. So okay, you just actually, him, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm um, applying to the Catholic... You're normal, don't worry. He's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm yes. applying to the Catholic priesthood. So okay. Okay. To start seminary in about two years. Okay. Um, so this is your 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 passion in life. Yeah, it's it's my vocation from God. Is it okay if I destroy your passion in life? Is it okay? Of course. Okay, so, so, so. I don't okay. Think God has a plan for me. But do you see? I want to also say this in the beginning of the discussion. I've not made up my mind. You asked me a question. Yeah. Would you convince me? Instead of there is evidence, I'll be convinced. Is it the same in your position? If I provide you evidence that He is in God, are you going to change your position? No. That means you're not open-minded. So why are you? How can you have a discussion with someone when you've already made up your mind and what you believe? That's a good point. I haven't necessarily made up my mind fully. If you were to present, so my right. The thing is, Catholicism says, okay, of course you should be open-minded. But at the end of the day, as I said, the religion I believe, you, as much as you try it, you're not going to convince me that no, Jesus is God. The Bible says, yeah. seek the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Of course. So you have to say to seek the truth. And also says, come, let us reason together. Yeah. So you need reason, and through reason you reach the truth, right. and the truth, whatever you find, that will set you free. So if you closed your mind on what the reasoning will lead you to, and you've already decided you've got the truth, then I would say it wouldn't make sense for me to engage with you. Because then I would be, in, in essence, wasting my time. I'm not saying that disrespectfully. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, no, no, but then that means like just for, for the sake of the conversation. You know? <laughs> like, okay. Are you actually, okay, we will see in the conversation. I'll have a discussion. But you, yes. you have to 
have to understand that I have a vocation to the priesthood, so I won't stop believing that Jesus is God. I'm free to the idea, but at the end of the day, yes, my, I, I have a passion for my religion. I love my religion. That's fine. But what if your what if your religion was false? But that's what my I'm saying. Religion, <laughs> like, the thing is, my religion. So my religion takes back. No, no, history is irrelevant. Buddhism is older than you. I'm asking a question. It's older. Yeah, of course, it's before you. But I'm asking a simple question now. I'm saying it's true or false. If it was false, yeah. what are you going to do about it? Are you still going to stick to something which is false? I would go and seek uh, religious advice. From who? From a spiritual leader. And what if he doesn't have answers for you? Then I would seek my own spiritual advice and I'd talk to God. And what if you don't find answers? And if I don't find answers, then I'd try and make my belief even stronger. I'm not going to convert. So you're blind. You you have blind faith. So what can I, I do for you? I but why you why you said is the literal definition of blind faith, right? No, if, look, look. You said you said if I do investigation, I seek everyone. I seek right. my priest. I ask God. I do everything. Yeah. In the end, my faith will become stronger. Come on, yeah. okay. this is this is the definition of blind faith. But you know. The thing. What the, what the, when people go through hard times? Yes. Okay. Like let's say for example, coronavirus. Coronavirus. Okay. National pandemic. Okay. What do people turn to? They turn to religion and their beliefs become even stronger. They turn to God. You said that exactly, they turn to God. But not necessarily your God, we're talking about your God now. Okay, fair enough. So we're talking if your God was false. Yeah, okay, if my God was false. Now look, I'm, I'm making you rethink your life because you're young, yeah. right? And it, you cannot right now be thinking in that way. It's not beneficial. You should be a person who seeks the truth. You should be a truth seeker. Okay. Wherever the truth leads you, you should follow it. And you're saying that Islam does that, right? I'm saying that's what everyone should do. Okay. And that's what I'm doing, okay. and that's what Islam teaches you to do. Right. Prophet Muhammad also does teach that, though. But you're not following it then, if you just so determine if. <laughs> it's like Oops. nine o'clock at night. Well, how is that said. relevant to what you're saying? He said Christianity teaches that too, to follow the truth. And then Muhammad Ali said, "Well, you're not doing, you're not following it then." Yeah. So like a long day. I want to ask you one last question. Okay, you just want to get to the point, you know? Yeah, right. Okay, do you know why I didn't want to get to the point? Because right. I don't want to waste my time. Fair enough. I want to speak to someone who's genuine. But I'll, anyways, I'll be nice enough and I will let no, you ask I'm your genuine. question. I'm willing to open my eyes. Okay, let's okay. go. We will see now, we will see now. Am I going to convert to Islam? No. So you're not open-minded, simple. No, because I don't want to convert to another religion. So you're not open-minded. I'm open-minded about the idea. I love Islam. So if Islam is the truth, will you become a Muslim? If it's the truth, if it's the truth, yes. say if God tells me yes, it's the truth. I didn't say if God tells you. I said if Islam is the truth, will you follow it? It's a simple question. It's the real truth. Say yes or no question. I want to know, is it the real truth? That is only one truth. There's only one truth? And if that was the true religion of Allah, uh, uh, if it was the truth, say, yes. Uh, if that's the true religion of uh -huh. Allah and uh -huh. God, then yes, I would. Okay, so this is what we'll investigate I, now. Okay. You can see I'm over He finally mind. admitted no, it. No, no, not at all, but I'll speak to you anyway. I, like, ask, so in the Bible, I think even she agrees you're not open minded. You know? yeah, okay, <laughs> like, in the Bible, Jesus says, okay, yes. and this is in the Old Testament, and yes. there's actually manuscripts because the Old Testament comes from comes from the Hebrew Bible, and we have some, we've got new scientific evidence that proves how many times the Bible has been copied. That's not true. It's true. Look, I you go, can come. I go to I so I'm starting going to name the manuscript. Well, I can't tell you. So you, you're making up claims. No, I'm not because so last Thursday. I can name the manuscript. Do you know what the Alpha and the Omega means? The first and the last. We don't want to jump everywhere. No, no. You were making a claim. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 but uh, first, you said your name is Gerard, right? Yes. We need to be careful not to interrupt one another, right? Fair. Look, you made a claim. Yeah. I disagree with you on your claim. Okay. You cannot substantiate it with the evidence because you got no names of manuscript. You got okay. no proof for what you said. Okay. It's just your word. Okay. On the other hand, I can tell you the earliest manuscripts yeah. of the Bible because I have looked into this. Uh -oh. Right? So, the oldest you have of the Old Testament is the Dead Sea Scrolls, which is probably what you wanted to refer to. And the Dead Sea Scrolls are nearly 2,000 years separate from Moses. They're written by a heretic group, unknown sources, right. and it does not have the full Old Testament. It just have right. majority of Isaiah, and it has a lot of things that Christians reject. Yeah. So it's not a reliable source of Christians information. Reject. Yeah, the Most other forms of denominations in Christianity, which again is wrong. Not really. No, no, but let's just focus on the manuscripts. I'm making a point now. Okay. So on the Old Testament, you got nothing. The earliest you have is 2,000 years separate from Moses. That's a fact now. Historical fact. Okay. Now, the second thing is the New Testament, the oldest full manuscript you have is called the Codex Sinaiticus, and the one after it is called the Codex, Va Codex Vaticanus, and both of these are in the fourth century, yep. nearly 400 years after after Jesus, yeah. right? And from the fourth century, you got zero manuscript, you got nothing. From the second century, you got something as big as called as the P52. Yep. So you've got nothing original to begin with in order for you to copy from. Okay. So you just make made up few things when you were talking. Can I ask you a question? Of course, go ahead. Uh, okay. 
What religion was Jesus? Muslim. You know what Muslim means? Okay. Okay. You can smile, but you don't understand no, what no, Muslim I'm means. No, I'm not. I'm not. Can I respectfully? <laughs> no, no, I'm not offended. I'm just okay, saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You do not know what even Muslim means, but you're surprised by it. Look, the word Muslim. Yeah. What does the word Muslim mean? Can't tell you. Exactly right. Okay. So I'll tell you now, right? So Muslim is someone who submits his will to the one true God. Okay. okay. Allah to the one true God. Yes. Now, did Jesus submit his will to God? In the Hebrew way? Yes. No, no. In Christianity. Even. Now, when you say the Hebrew faith, you're talking about Christianity, is that what you're saying? In, in Judaism. No, no, I'm saying in your belief. Yeah. Did Jesus submit his will to God? Yes. Okay. He shouted, Eli, 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 Samarana, Eli. La, lema sabatani, you're talking about something else, right? Okay. So why did you forsake me? But he said, let it be your will, not my will. Yeah. Right? So he submitted to the will of the Father and he commanded the people to follow the will of the Father. Oh. So Jesus was someone, a human being walking on earth, oh. submitting his will to the one true God. Yeah. Do you know Jesus didn't eat pork? Pardon? Do you know Jesus didn't eat pork? No, I didn't. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Do you know Jesus fasted yes. when he was alive? Do you know yes. Jesus, his mother was covered? Yes. Which is why the nuns are covered. Yes. Do you know Jesus fell on his face like a Muslim when he was praying? He prostrated to Yeah, yes. he fell on his face. So the priests. He didn't do like this, no, like you guys do. He fell on his face. So the priests. priests. No, I, I don't know which priests. I've never seen them, but it's okay. Very, very okay, no problem. Yeah. Some priests somewhere do that, but it's okay. Point is, this was Jesus, right? He was yeah. from the Middle East. He was not a white guy, yeah? Oh, of course, oh, good. Been brown. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's more to my color because I'm a Middle Eastern as well, right? So, Jesus was all of these things, yeah. and he spoke Aramaic. He yes. didn't speak Hebrew. No. You know what the word of God is in Aramaic? Uh, Allah. Are you gonna say it's Allah? No, no, it is Allah. It's like I'm making it. This is this is what the language is <laughs> because it's Semitic language with Arabic and Hebrew, mm -hmm. so the terms are, are similar. So Jesus was saying Allah, falling on his face and praying, with his mother covered with her face, does not eat pork and fast forty days. What religion is that? Can I? Can I just? Can I? Thank you very much. Can I disagree with you? <laughs> no, can I this is all facts. Okay, but go ahead. I've, I've also got facts. Go ahead. Right. Yes. Right. A Muslim uh -huh. said, tried to say, okay, that Jesus was screaming. You know when Jesus was dying on the cross and he shouted, Eli, Eli. Yeah, I just said okay. to you, Eli, Eli, Oh yeah. my God, which is okay. Aramaic for what? My God, my God, why have you forsaken? My God. So was he God or did he have a God? We'll get to that. We'll come to uh, that. Okay, we'll okay, to yeah, that. we'll come to that. No they tried yes. to say uh -huh. that Eli yes. is translated into Arabic means it's, it's sound like Allah. No, no, not, not that. Ilahi is Ilahi, Eli, Eli, and Ilahi in the Arabic has yeah. a similar word, not right. Allah. Okay. Ilahi means my God, literally. Yeah. In, yeah. In, in Arabic and in Arabic as well. If yeah. I say Ilahi, it yeah. means my God. So yeah. whoever is trying, you're making a straw man argument now. Some people somewhere around the world making an argument. I'm not concerned what they're doing. Okay. You're talking to me, right? Yeah. So deal with my arguments, okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So. What, can I finish? Oh, yeah, of course, okay. but their argument I'm not interested okay, in. Okay, right, they started to say that they were saying Allah. I don't know who they are. Why, why am I concerned uh, what they say? Very famous podcasters, I don't remember their name. Uh, it's irrelevant, I don't okay. care. Okay, all right. You're talking to me. Okay. In the, in so we get to my question, can we get to my question? When he says my God, yeah. How is he God or does he have a God? Which one? He is divine. Is he God? The Holy Spirit. So you know the Trinity. I know the Trinity. The Father, the Son. Let's give it a second. Let's give it a second. Let's give it a second until they cross. Because I cannot hear you. You cannot hear me. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is all tied into God. Still, I cannot hear you. Still. <laughs> I know you're excited, but give it back just a second I'll tell you a little bit further, yeah? Is this recorded by me? Yes, of course it's recorded. Yeah, it's get on Absolutely. You're, you're uh, someone who's becoming a priest, you know? You should be happy yeah, in your... You should be happy there. But okay, I now I you can... Now answer... Christian gets absolutely battered by Muslims. Do you feel like you're being battered? I don't. Okay, then let's continue the, the conversation then. Then people will judge, you know? Even if the title <laughs> says that, people will say, you know, he wasn't battered, right? Okay. So uh, go ahead, say what you wanted to say. Okay, so what I want to ask you... In yes. the in the Hebrew mm -hmm. Old Testament, okay, because I believe, can you tell me that dates back further than the Christian manuscripts? Of course it does because it was okay. before Jesus. And Hebrew, Hebrew is essential. Hebrew and Christianity are extremely close. Extremely no, close. No, no. Yeah. But anyways, get to your point. Yes. What is your in point? I want to know. There's two things that Jesus said. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Okay. The first and the Do you know where, which verse is that? Uh, Revelation chapter 1. Do you know that was a dream? Was it? Do you know it was a 
a dream. It says in the text, read it. Dream of John. Open your text. You don't, you don't know your text. Go, go to it. <laughs> this was a bit. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying to you, you you're the, you're supposed to be a Christian, not me. Yeah. So you should know. No, no, no. Okay, so it was a vision. Okay. okay. So it's not reliable for me. I don't care what anyone says in his dream. What, okay. If you say a potato in your dream is God, it doesn't yeah. mean a potato is God, is it? What about when Jesus says, yes. uh, before Abraham was, I am. What does Abraham mean? Okay, do you know where that is? That's also, in, I believe it's in Revelation. No, it's in John. Okay. Chapter 8, okay. verse 58. Okay. Do you know the context? No. Okay, so you. You, why you, are you taking something out of context? Can you tell me what it means? Oh, I can tell you everything. Please. I can tell you the context. Okay. I, I want can you tell to enlighten you. I will enlighten you, but first I want you to understand your, I want to understand your claim. Why, what are you claiming? What does before Abraham I am mean to you? See, what does God, why is refer, your claim? What does God refer to himself multiple times in the Bible as? God. Adonai, Elohim. Father? Father? Father, yeah, of course, okay. yeah. In your Bible, yes. Okay, okay, in my Bible. Yes. Okay, so then it's not really fair for me to compare to, to your Bible. No, no, but go ahead. I, I want to know your claim. When he says, before Abraham was I am, what does that mean? You explain the words to me. Okay, so... Because you're making the claim. So, so to me, to uh -huh. lots of Christians, uh -huh. no, actually, to all Catholics, Okay. that is almost biblical proof uh -huh. that Jesus is God. Why? Explain. Because before Abraham was I am. What does that mean? Before, it's like... It, it doesn't make sense in English language, so you need to explain it to me. He forgot. What before Abraham it. was, I am. What does, tell me what does, no, no, you're making me, a claim. You can, you can ask me to explain no, your Bible. Ask you know? no, what does I know what it means and I can explain it to you. Mean? Look, look, I, I can explain it to you and give you the it, context. It means that because it says what it says. <laughs> it doesn't answer your question on everything. But you are claiming this verse proves he's God, yeah. so you should understand what it means. Yeah. So you tell me, how does this prove he's God? Go ahead. Well, I mean, it proves that Just because your priest told you does not mean it's true. I want no, you no, to tell me. This, this, a yes. lot of this, and I'm willing to uh -huh. tell you, I'm going to get things wrong. I'm okay, but you tell me now, why do you believe it, it shows well, that he's God? Me, before the Pope, before Abraham was, I am. That's uh -huh. saying before the Father was, I am. You're saying what? God, before the Father was, I am? God. Abraham is the Father? God, well. That's what, that's what you just said. Well, what does, what does it suggest in the Bible? Oh, no. Is, what is he? He's Abraham a mess. Are oh, you no, just no, saying heretic? Abraham even Catholics will, will, will even Catholics will put you on that. No, deal. no, I'm, I'm saying he's a prophet. He's not the father. No. Okay, so you just said before the father okay. was I am, which before is like Abraham completely was. incorrect. <laughs> before Abraham was, uh -huh. I am. Yes, which is? Okay, before. I can't, I can't explain it. So how does he prove his God? <laughs> You're making the claim he's, he's, he's showing he's God. All on its own. I'm not the right? one who say, look at this verse, it proves his God. You just brought the verse. Okay. Look, I told you in the beginning of the discussion, are you are you prepared for your faith to be, let's put it lightly, shake it. Yeah. No, no, shake okay. it lightly. Okay. You said yes. Look, yeah. when you come to a Muslim, and Muslims, they do study their religion, of especially course. if they're standing and here I'm speaking about their faith. Yeah. And they study your religion as well and your book and the references of what it says. So you should be more prepared, right? Yeah. Now, when you quote before Abraham was I am, what do the, the Christian do? These two claims that Christians make. I'll help you now. Yes. I'll, I'll lend you a hand and say how those claims don't work. But I'll lend you a hand anyways, right? They say one of two things. They either say before Abraham was I am means that he was eternal because he existed before Abraham. Yeah. So that's one claim that they make. Another claim that they make is before Abraham was I am, I am is the name of God. And they refer to Exodus in the, in the, in the Old Testament. And they say that when Moses went and he asked God, what's your name? And then God told him, I am who I am. So they say that's the name of God. Yeah. So these are the two claims that Christians make. Both of them are false and do not make any sense for a few reasons. First, if I say before Abraham was I, I am refers to eternality, no, it doesn't refer to eternality. It just says that he was there before Abraham. Yeah. It doesn't even say the devil was there before Abraham. doesn't mean he's, it was God. Yeah. And Melchizedek in the Bible has no beginning or end. He's eternal, according to the Bible. Yes. In Hebrews chapter 7. Yes. So that is not proof that he's God. So the first claim is out of the window. The second claim is if you say I am is a name of God, then I will replace I am with God. So before Abraham was God, how is that claim of divinity? No, you've just explained it to me. Okay, so, so those Christians misuse the Bible, misinterpret it, and based on that, there's no conclusions. So Christian, Jesus is not God. Now let me ask you a question. Okay, because I allowed you to ask questions. Now let me ask you a question. Okay. But Jesus. Be prepared for me not to be able to answer them. No problem. No, no issues. Don't worry. Muslims it's okay. Up, I, I, from my understanding, yes. Muslims are brought up to defend their faith when they're questioned and challenged. And I think it's an absolute. This is how should, people should be, isn't it? Of course. I yeah. think it's how Christians should be. Yes. I think it's beautiful that you're brought up from such a young age to be able to defend okay. your faith. And it's sad that I wasn't. Okay. Because then I could be talking to you and I could be. No, but you're still in the young age. You're in the process. You are way ahead many people, I would say. But the point is, let me ask you this question. Yeah. Does God know everything? Yes. All the time or sometimes? All the time. All the time. Is Jesus God? 
yes or no? Say no, you will be saved. Yeah, yeah you say no, you become a Muslim and we end this discussion. You know? <laughs> so yes or no? You will say yes, you're going to be do you want me to answer you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to answer truthfully, yes. I'm going to say yes again. Okay, you you say Jesus is God and you just admitted that God knows everything all the time. Did Jesus know everything all the time? So you agree you just contradicted yourself? So, we uh, look, in the beginning of the discussion, it was very simple. Right? I said to you, you have to be open-minded and sincere. Yeah. Now, you agree that you're contradictory, but you're not changing your position. John also, John contradicted. No, 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 no. leave John now. You're not John and I'm not John. You're you, right? Yeah. John is not going to stand before God. You will stand before God and I will stand before God. Yeah. I will account for myself, not him. Yes, so you should be worried about yourself, not John. Yes, okay, you don't even know who John was, by the way. But this is a different story that I don't want to mm -hmm. get into now, which yeah. given you even more okay, overwhelming information. He was, yeah? he was the same. In my belief, he was the same. What was G John's full name. Where do you bring him? Where is the, where is the historical information I about John? Tell you, but I want to go back to your question. No, no, so don't make claims. I, no, I said okay. he was the same. No, no, okay, okay. Listen, but that's a claim, and you don't have evidences for it. The, right. Biblical criticism scholars they have four Johns, and they don't know which one he is, which one the, the one is the, the one who wrote that gospel hundred years after Jesus. But the point is coming back. You admitted your your belief is contradictory, but you're still not changing your position, which is why in the beginning of the conversation I was clear with you. I know you're not open. Minded. And when you asked me, I'm open minded. I said no. That is the reason because you're not seeking the truth. But what's your end? What is your end goal of this? To convert me to Islam? My end goal is for people to follow the truth. If I show you the truth, I give you evidence, and you agree and that this is the truth, you should follow and it. To follow the truth, Islam. Of course, and I'm giving you reasons and evidences for what, for why it is. Okay. I'm not just making a claim. I'm saying if I have no evidence that Islam is the truth, you don't need to accept what I say. Right. But I'm saying everyone should come together, investigate, use evidences, and whatever is the truth, we all should follow it. Right? I totally agree with that. He should be a Muslim then. But have, Islam, he has, have Muslims come together with Christians and uh, Seventh-day Adventists and Rastafarians and the, and the Jews and the, the hundreds We don't need to. We're comparing the scriptures. And have they come together and said, yes, this, this, let's put all of our information together. No, because many people are like you. They're not open-minded. So even if they're addressed with the truth. But I was brought up to love my religion. But that's the thing. I'm, I'm, I have an undying. I know, I know. I know you're brought up to blindly follow Christianity and to always follow it. But the point is, mm. the point is this, right? What I'm saying is this. I'm saying if someone is blindly following something, of course he will never change his position. And therefore he's not seeking the truth no matter what he says. Because he's already made up his mind. Even if you show me evidence this is false, I'm not going to move from it. So I will make dua for you, meaning I will ask God to guide you and me and everyone, right? And that's it, that's what I can do. Do you have the Quran? Have you read it before? You want to read it? Or because you made up your mind, you don't want to read it? Okay, look, I know what your mentality is. Like. No, my mentality is at the end of the day. If you want to engage with Christians, you should, if you want to engage with Muslims, you need to read the Quran. At the moment, I'm going to be brutally honest with you, I do not nowhere near have enough knowledge to start a debate with. So why did you come? I, I, no, because, because I just wanted, I just wanted, okay. I wanted your point of view. Okay. okay, no problem. And I know that, I know that you It's not a debate, by the way. I'm not in debate. Trust me, I'm not in debate mode. If I get in debate mode, a debate mode will be different, okay. you know? I'm just having a nice discussion, you know? Can I yes. show you something? Yes. Okay, so, you know all the hundreds of videos out there on the internet that it says, um, Christian gets... How are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, can you give him a copy, please? Give him a copy. It says, um, Christian gets battered by a Muslim person, proving Jesus is not... I don't know, battered, I've never seen this one ba specifically battered. Uh, no, I've not seen battered. I've seen Christians have titles like this, ridiculous, yes, I've seen. Many channels of Christians doing that. Missionaries and preachers. So what's, what's the point you're making then? The point I'm making, I want to show you something. Oh, go ahead. So are you like a famous YouTube channel? I'm just, sorry. I have a YouTube channel, yeah. I don't call it famous, but I have a YouTube channel. Fame is important in the afterlife, not in this life. Yeah. What's he looking for? I don't know. It's not your fault, is it? I don't necessarily agree with this title, by the way. Muslim gets humbled. Muslim gets humbled, yeah? So you're just proving the point that I was making, you know? The Christians that don't do that, right? Look, look, look how he's proving my point without me. I don't need to do effort, you know? Why? Because there's also videos on YouTube. No, no, but you were making the point, not me. So it's funny, you made the point and then you demonstrated that this is what your people are doing. And this is also what your people do as well. You didn't 
didn't show me any evidence for that. Oh, well, I, I, I agree with Go ahead. You. So I want you to watch this. Yeah, but it's not loading, is it? In, 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 so it's saying, so where your subject titles? Where's your evidence in God's word? Where are you? It's irrelevant. What did you say, God? The same question. So he realized he didn't have any evidences to give to Muhammad mm -hmm. Ali, and so he just pulled out. He, Hold on, let me get this video off my phone really quick. Yeah. See, to, to prove you wrong. The answer that John chapter eight verse. So what's the point you're making? Oh, I just want you to. I want your, so you, you, I want your no, no, no. But you, what you did there is that you showed me that, with all due respect, that you are a bit of a robot right. or brainwashed. Okay. I'll tell you why. Because you used that verse and you never understood what he meant by John eight eight. Because when I asked you, you didn't know. So you robotically watched someone on TikTok and took the information he said and came to me thinking that now you know something. And now you presented what he said. Yeah. And now you think you figured something out. So my advice is don't just blindly follow other individuals thinking that they know what they're yeah. talking about. Because if you were to come here, yeah. you would see him getting humble, humbling a Muslim by him getting <laughs> humble. Yeah. So I, I would advise you give him, bring him. I'm here. Bring him. He's in America. Oh, bring him. I'll go. I'll go to him then, or at least he can go to one of our brothers in America. But to deal with a, a random person who doesn't know anything and just to act like he humbled the person, that's completely disingenuous, you know. But let's let's finish here because Wait, like, yeah. what do you want to say? Last thing because Last there's day. many. As you see, so many people yeah. interested so in this now. You know. I so. Can I ask you, does the Quran say? Because my history teacher said this. The Quran says that you should follow the laws of the country you're in, right? You should follow the laws of the country that you're in as long as they don't oppose the Quran and Hadith. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah. where the Quran, does the Quran say anything about having multiple wives? Of course, yeah. Okay, so... Chapter 4 of Quran. So, in this country, I can't, and again, I can't present you with the exact law that says it's, it's not allowed, but is it... What's your point? My, no, no, no. I'm just yeah, okay, asking, okay. I'm Le there is a legal marriage and, 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 and there is a religious marriage. Do you know yeah, there's a difference yeah, between yeah. the two? Yes. So you can you can religiously marry multiple women yeah. in, in, as any religion, not even as a Muslim. Yeah. And that does not necessarily break the law because that's not a, a, a legal marriage. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes. That's, that's what no problem. Do you know how many wives Solomon had according to the Bible? Um, was it, I'm going to get this wrong, but was it seven? It was 1,700 wives and 300 wow. concubines. Wow. Do you know? know do you, know, do you know how many wives did Abraham have? I do not know. Three. Do you know how many wives did Moses have? The list is long, right? <laughs> we want to talk about multiple wives. I think you should start with the Bible, you know? Anyways, it was nice talking to you. It's very nice. I said that was no problem. Pleasure talking to you. Think about what I said. Open your mind. Yeah. We're all I'll actually read the Quran, yeah? Uh, can I have a copy? Yeah, of course. I'll give Thank it to you. At the end of the day, we're all going to stand in front of God. You're going to read it though, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. We're all going to stand in front of God on the day of judgment. Yes. And, you will be and then he will ask us, you admitted that you, your belief is contradictory. Why did you stay upon it? And then you prepare your answer. Because I know my answer. Can I ask what's your yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, that's a good video. It's that kid showed up not very, he showed up disingenuous. How old do you think he is? 24, 25? Oh, he's a teenager, I think. Really? Yeah, I think so. I think he's like 15, 16. He looks pretty young. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, he just showed up disingenuous and 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 um, it's funny to watch him get like like the lantern guy said you you saw it on TikTok and thought you were informed <laughs> yeah <laughs> you thought you knew something right you're gonna prove me wrong with a TikTok video yeah oops yeah pretty funny it, from the get go from the get go he's like contradicted himself so many times and. Yeah, he he was not prepared for that interaction. <laughs> no, <laughs> he was not. He was not armed. The, I think this uh, Muhammad Ali. I think he's got a background in debate. He's he's very good. I don't know. He he's might. Very good. Yeah, he is good. He's sharp. He can isolate things very quickly. Yeah, he's very logical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so everyone wants wants you to watch a video on his about explaining about hadith because he frequently talks to these people that are called hadith rejectors the people that reject the hadith and he he's like a i guess you would describe him as a salafi like sheikh uthman sheikh asim al -Akim. these guys are all salafi like they they um very i guess very literally interpret the word of the quran and the hadith anyway it's not it's not that important but um, yeah, he goes hard on the on the hadith rejectors, and so. Inshallah. Uh, what did you say? He was a a what? 
Salafi. Salafi. Yeah, Salafi. Like Sheikh Uthman, I've told you about this before. Sheikh Uthman is a Salafi and uh, Bilal Phillips is a Salafi. Uh, uh, Asim al-Hakim. So I thought there was like uh, Sunnas and Shia. Now you're telling me there's Salafi? There, then there's, yeah, Salaf, but I don't know. It's it's a really complicated topic. It's It's very complicated. It's... It's kind of like a revivalist, traditionalist, if that makes sense, movement mm -hmm. where people try to bring back the sunnah and be more strict about following rules, be more strict about not doing, not having religious innovations because this religious innovation that kind of crept into the Islamic world, they're big on that. And, and are these also the same people that were around Muhammad when he was alive no, or before Muhammad? No. The Salafi, the Salafi claimed to follow the Sahaba who were the companions of the Prophet. Mm -hmm. Peace be upon him. So that's what the, that's what the Salaf do. Gotcha. They, there was another group that was before uh, Muhammad was born and I think there's a tendency for some of those people to try to keep that side of the religion active as well. Do you know anything about that? I don't know anything about that. Okay. People I'll look into people it before the time of the prophet would have been I mean either Jews or Christians or pagans. No, well, it was Islam before the prophet. <laughs> was Jesus a Muslim? Yeah, well I mean that there was some followers of Jesus that you could say maybe we're Muslim. And, G and G of course, Jesus, yeah. But Islam, as we know today, didn't, didn't exist in the time of the Prophet, and that's why the Prophet came to to hmm. spread that. So I don't know. You have to look up. I never yeah, heard I of think that. There was, I think there was some Muslim things before Muhammad. But how did they, I mean, did yeah. they learn from Jesus? Because Jesus would have been the, Jesus is the last prophet before mm. they were followers of Jesus. No, they're followers of God. Ebionites. Was it the Ebionites? I kind don't of, know. It's it, a kind it of Christian. like a group, group that, that, gosh, I want to say that's in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, there were, Ebi, still... there, there were Ebionites in Saudi okay. Arabia. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I just they, remember. Ebionites, I believe they were like Christians that, uh, didn't believe that Jesus was crucified. Yeah. So they were kind of like, I guess, kind of followers of Jesus that rejected certain parts of what the church was doing at the time. Possible. That ended up aligning with Islam. That might be what you're thinking. Of. I don't know. I anyway, that. we try not to, in the Quran, it's, it tells us not to divide ourselves into subsects oh. and just to be a Muslim. And so most of these guys that are Salafi, they, they won't self-describe themselves to be a Salafi. They won't. Mm. But it's just kind of like when you see somebody <clears throat> very, very on the Sunnah, they, they have the beard, they reject religious innovation, they, uh, they interpret the Quran and the Hadith very literally Salafi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's just kind of. It's just a label. So a lot of people think I'm a Salafi. Like that. Like even before, uh, I've, I've even made videos about Salafism. People thought, assumed that I was a Salafi. I tend to lean that that way, but I'm not going to label myself as a Salafi. You know. Gotcha. So yeah, it's kind of complicated, but I don't even know why I mentioned that. But it had to do with a Hadith Hadith rejector. Anyway. Okay. Okay. There you go, Good Muhammad stuff. Ali, uh, Muslim Lantern. May Allah bless him, and and uh, may Allah bless all of you for watching this video with us. And inshallah, we will see you all in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.